Welcome to Gearbox. I'm here with the DBX Venue 360. This is the latest update of the Drive Rack series. Now, anybody who's been in front of a PA probably in the last decade and a half has interacted with one of these processes before. So what they've done is accumulated their experience over years of making these affordable, easy to use processes for PAs and put it all together in one box. Now, in terms of connectivity, you've got uh, three input XLRs on the back. That actually gives you four channels of AES or three channels of analog, depending on what you're doing. And you you've got six outputs. Now, in between is obviously all the processing, and it's got everything you'd expect. You've got graphic and parametric EQ on the inputs. You've got uh, numerous uh, parametric EQs on the outputs. You've got limiting. You've got automatic feedback suppression. Um, pretty much everything you'd expect, the DBX compression that they like to make a, a big deal of, and limiting, obviously, plus all your crossovers. And you can do up to you know six, uh, six way. Now, what? is interesting about it is they've updated the wizards on the front and it really becomes, in terms of really easy, simple configuration, all about the wizards on the front. You can go through and pick presets of pretty much any kind of common front of house uh, PA configuration and monitor setups. And the other interesting thing is they've loaded in presets for a huge variety of um, different manufacturers, including people who are obviously direct competitors to the Harman stable. So yes, you find JBL at uh, the top spot and every model is there on the preset list, but you'll also find EAW and other similar. Uh, also pretty much covering most of the kind of speakers you're gonna find in a, in a, you know, a pub slash club type install. Now, other smarts in the box, uh, the obligatory ethernet port on the back and an app you can open in iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, uh, where you can do the classic walk around, you know, connect it to your iPad, adjust the EQ, adjust the compression. Uh, you can also manage the device on the network. Uh, the other big thing is the tunability. You can connect an RTA to the built-in port and to the built-in XLR rather and run sign sweeps and it'll automatically tune for you. You can activate the automatic feedback suppression. Now that's really useful in venues where people aren't that experienced or uh, you know, you get a lot of operators that are learning, um, so that's going to be quite valuable. You can apply where to put that as well. So all in all, uh, extremely affordable, extremely simple to use, and pretty much great to cover any venue that cops a lot of abuse from either people who are up and coming or people who uh, like to push the envelope a little bit, as we all did or do sometimes. So yeah, pretty nice work, pretty much what you'd expect from a drive rack, um, just with a few extra little bells and whistles.